What is up YouTube and today we have the preview for Limited Flan who is actually coming out very, very soon as you guys can see. Her animations look amazing and her design looks pretty top notch as well if you get what I'm saying you get what I'm saying. And if you go back here you're gonna see that she is actually a fire ranger so even though her theme kind of seems more of a ice unit because the base Flan is actually also an ice unit you are going to see that Afternoon Soak Flan, otherwise known as Limited Flan, is going to be a Fire Ranger. No, I'm not really too sure if this means it's kind of like a Fall Limited Skin. The name kind of makes it seem like a Summer one, but based on the timing, it is pretty much the middle of Fall or Autumn. So it's kind of, kind of weird, but yeah, anyways, you can see that her design looks pretty good. It's basically Ice Flan wearing a dress or one piece and also having this parasol or uh, umbrella and you can see that the time that went into this artwork was pretty uh, amazing like pretty large and in charge if you kind of get what I'm saying here oh I think I'm gonna skip over that so I don't get demonetized here but anyways this is the hero introduction so you're gonna see that pretty uh, basic speed right for a ranger some rangers have very high speed some have you know just okay speed she's in that okay speed boat but the biggest thing you're going to notice here is that she does have pretty decent attack and also pretty high effect in this. This kind of reminds me a bit of ML Flan, Pirate Captain Flan, where they want to do a lot of damage and also want to land a lot of debuffs. And you're going to see that Limited Flan is also going to be quite similar in that regard and kind of in the same boat. And this is her S3. It's a active ability, of course. You're going to see that it is a attack that will decrease defense for two turns. It's not AoE, it's single target. It will also CR push all of your team by 20%, and this will always crit, and you can actually ignore effect in this by soul burning for 10 souls. So honestly, I think if this was AoE, this would be super, super OP. So because of that, they did make it single target, and because it's single target, it just doesn't seem that strong. This is her animation for S3, it seems pretty good. Um, but just her S3 alone, it's just like a defense break, right? Nothing too crazy. Um, it does CR push your team, but, you know, you can actually defense break the entire enemy team and CR push them back with some other units, so uh, nothing too crazy. However, you're going to see that Afternoon Soak Flan's biggest ability is in her skill to passive I'm still on a vacation. You're going to see that she does have a focus system, so anything that counters focus will also counter her, namely uh, Solitaria and also even ML Politis. But you're going to see at the start of battle, she gets three focus. And she'll have 50% built-in evasion, and when focus is 1 or higher, so basically if you have any focus at all, you'll go up to 100% evasion, so the first 100% evasion unit in the game. And also you'll see, after an ally uses a basic attack, you will use one focus to trigger a dual attack, and this will increase her CR by 20%. So you can see that she is just a crazy dual attacking machine with this focus system. She doesn't get any focus from her S3, but you'll see that she actually will be able to get it from her S1. And basically, when you see it in battle, it's going to be pretty crazy, right? Uh, so you'll see at the bottom here, after an ally uses a basic skill, consumes one focus, triggering a dual attack, and you're going to see that its CR pushes her up to 25%, actually. My math is terrible. It's going to be 25%. And also, you're going to see that this is a very important thing people don't actually know. When a skill that triggers a random dual attack is used, such as Conquer Ilias or also Fire Ilias or anything of that sort, you're going to see that Afternoon Soak Flan will prioritize participating in that dual attack. So she'll be prioritized, right? So that's a very important ability, a very important part of her kit, right? So Conquer Liz can actually guarantee that she brings her in S1s. And then her S1 is this single target attack with a 40% uh, chance to stun. And this will always crit. And if you actually use this on her turn instead of on a dual attack or a counter attack, it will be an AoE attack that will give you focus and will also always crit and do a crap ton of damage. We'll see that this damage is not too shabby here. And this S1 is gonna kind of show how strong she can be, right? She's gonna be dual attacking with her teams. She's gonna be, you know, just seeing, um, what's it called? Taking her own turns and AoE attacking, and she doesn't need any crit, which is very important here. Now this is her artifact. It's going to be a critical hit damage boost, which is very powerful. 
and you also see if the caster attacks when it's not their turn, they have a chance to grant themselves an attack buff for one turn before attacking. So obviously this will be super good on her because of the fact that her S2, she will be dual attacking whenever an ally uses a basic skill, which is insane, right? So basically the way you want to combo this is um, you just S3 a unit, you know, put that defense break on that unit, if I can actually find it, right? And then pretty much after that, after you CR push your team, of course, one of your teammates will S1 into that unit and you will dual attack and pretty much just one shot that unit, right? Or at least almost one shot them. So very, very powerful combo. You're going to see that she's going to be used in like very aggressive comps here. Um, you know, for the most part, I don't think you'll use her in standard comps. Her kit just really makes sense. If I can find her artifact in very aggressive comps because it really relies on getting your S3 off, right? Just pushing your CR of your allies up. And then after you defense break, right, you just have an ally S1 and you do a ton of damage. This evasion buff is pretty random on her, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why she has evasion because most likely you'll be building her on like full damage. I think it's just to actually just increase her survivability somewhat. Um, but basically you're gonna be using her in very aggressive team comps to kind of just one shot and snipe out units. So looks pretty cool overall. And you're gonna see that she is gonna be available on the limited summon starting o October 17th, so she is a guaranteed limited unit. Just keep in mind, we most likely have some collabs coming out in the near future, so you want to make sure you don't go too overboard in spending your bookmarks. But in my opinion, I don't think this unit is a must must have. You know, obviously, her design and her animations are amazing. Like, literally, just um, if I can go back here, just literally look at her S3 animation, it looks amazing. She looks amazing here in her artwork. But I think just like from a skill set point of view, she's not required. Same with her artifact. But if you do find her super waifu, or if you do like to play very aggressively, or if you honestly, you know, if you're just a collector in the game, who am I to say not to pull for her, just go for her. But just skill wise, I don't think she'll be super broken or anything. Just a pretty decent cleave or aggressive unit. But thank you for watching guys. And of course, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about her. And I'll see you guys next video.